All right, YouTube guys. So we got the stereo, this app radio installed. It is a double den. Um, it's the only way we can get it in. We had to do some trimming. So we had to trim down there and up there to get it in. But anyways, we got it in. Um, it's, it's sitting pretty flat with the dash. It looks like it's pointing down a little bit, but, but that's all right. I mean, whatever. And then we got the amp and the subwoofer installed and wired up. Um, we have to finish up the wiring. All this wiring is for, this is for trailer brakes. Um, and this is for the rear view camera or backup camera, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to run that today. Yeah, and then I tried to, I tried to trim this to make this fit on there, but it doesn't want, sorry, it doesn't want to fit on there still. Um, I mean, I guess it, it kind of would go in there, but the kid said that, uh, he'd rather have this. So I'm going to turn it on. This is a, uh, Heleno. Heleno. It's a, it's a, oh, Panlelo. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, it was one I saw on YouTube. On YouTube, um, it was the. They said it was comparable and better than the Pioneer. Um. Yeah. Anyways, that's weird. From Portland, Oregon, but uh, everything's in. Japanese but anyways it's got a it's loaded with a GPS already on it um, I don't know what year what version there's all kinds of settings to go into there's boot modes and I hate this buzzing oh I guess I can turn this back uh oh Honda what? what kind of crap is that? Doesn't it know this is a Dodge? No, anyways, my kid wanted that uh, <laughs> on there for kicks and giggles, I guess. Um, so, just so I don't get any copyright crap. Anyway, so... You can scroll through it. Um, you got all kinds of. It'll seek for rock stations, I guess. Um, it's pretty neat little radio, I think, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. The updates need approval. Um, so there we go. So that's that's his uh, main page, and it, and it's got Bluetooth, Bluetooth stereo, radio. I don't know what it's doing, but uh, you can go to the home screen. You can go through all the the menus, the settings, um, factory settings, 8317, I think. There you go. Bluetooth, you can do screen settings, boot animation, that's the Honda. Um, the Honda logo. Or no, sorry, the boot uh, animation used to say Android across it. And it would like fluctuate like Android, 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 whatever. 
And then you can do boot logo. It's got all these logos you can choose from. Um, Nissan, Jaguar, Jeep, GMC, GPS, Fiat. Since Dodge is now Fiat, maybe we should do Fiat instead. Because there's not a Dodge one. And here's Chrysler, which is which is weird. We don't know why there's no Dodge one in here. If they got Jeep, Chrysler, Fiat. Anyways, there's a Scion. Or Saturn, Scion. Um, Whatever all those cars are. I don't know any of those car makers. Saab, Volvo, Lamborghini, Range Rover, Land Rover, um, yeah, Skoda, got a bunch of Mini Cooper, Fiat, BMW, UFO, Mitsubishi, Subaru, I don't know if that's Subaru again, it's a different version of it, it's got Lexus, Suzuki, Mazda, Kia, Ford, Hyundai, Chevy, Honda, Buick, Volkswagen, so yeah, basically they just don't have anything, uh, so you can mess with all the stuff. I mean, you got sound. Oh, you know what? You got a you got subwoofer. You got amp settings, so you can have you know high settings, low settings. Um, telecontroller selector, which is a, a controller remote. So you can select different remotes. Anyways, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I guess uh, where is this is the built-in navigation. Hopefully, it doesn't show where we're at. I actually have the the antenna is actually unplugged because we're getting the windshield replaced tomorrow, and so uh, we'll have to. Mount it up on the windshield after we get a new windshield, but there you go. There's the map. That's where we live. Wherever that is. Houston. Postal, San Fernando. Main Plaza, West Commerce. Purple Heart. Let's see. Zoom out? Oh, you can zoom out. This this navigation's way faster than like my Acura, or my wife's Acura. It's got a bunch of gas stations. I think that's Texas. Yeah, San Antonio. I don't know why they go to Texas. Maybe uh, Japanese or whoever makes this. Um, they just assume that. Everything comes from Texas. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it comes with an SD card, a 16 gig micro SD card. So, I don't know if you can see that or not. But, anyways, it's a 16 gig class 10 micro SD card. That you can load stuff with uh, you can do your own you know picture in the background you could do your own thing um, whatever so uh, yeah for the most part uh, ow, the seats hurting me you can turn the screen off you know to black it out while you're driving, uh, go home. Let's see. So when you got auxiliaries, you have uh, oh, 
to watch video, please stop the car. Okay, so there's a, there is some wires for, uh, it says brake. The, the wiring stuff they got is real weird. It says like brake or back car. Like one wire said back car, one wire says brake control. So I'm assuming um, brake controls for this. So, um, we're seeing radar. I mean, look at all these options. You got left to right mirror, media mute, dynamic track, warning show, top bottom mirror. Um, anyways, you got all kinds of, this, this little app right here is pretty cool. You know, you got all your stuff, your internet, so, you can update it, it does everything, you know, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. This thing beep. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was going to uh, wire up the, the backup camera for it. And uh, just do all this updating stuff. Um, and then I got to make these plates. I got to make uh, some, probably going to make some plates. Some little plastic covers that's gonna go there and then one that'll go in there and then wrap it with the same carbon fiber stuff um, we did have to do some trimming in the back like on the structural part we had to trim a bunch of I, don't know, I was in here with a Dremel for probably about an hour hour and a half um, just doing some trimming fine trimming and uh, I didn't want to go all the way back with it because um, it does stick out. I didn't want to go all the way back with it because on the back of the radio, there's some fins, you know, some air cooling fins. They call it radiator pops or stops. I don't know what they call it. But anyways, uh, I didn't want to go all the way out or all the way back. I want to keep as much air space in there as we can so that it'll stay cool as cool as it can be it says operating temperature of it is like between 10 and 60 degrees celsius yeah so between 10 and 60 degrees celsius so i think that's like one i don't know i don't know what it is in celsius it's like 100 and something degrees probably 140 hopefully um but yeah for the most part uh that's pretty much it. That's that's the app radio from uh, that company, whoever they are. Panlelo. <laughs> Panlelo. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna let this finish updating and uh, and uh, go from there. Got some more, obviously, some more wiring to do. Some more stuff to do on it um you know the plates or whatever and yeah and then i put you know these speakers they're just sony speakers um sony speakers that are in the door got them from walmart they're like 67 bucks and they're 400 watt rated so they're probably like 60 watt rated and then Sir Win Vega's in there. And then this amp. Oh. But for the most part, uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to uh wire up the uh rear facing camera or the backup camera I should say. And you just tie the wiring into the into the reverse lights. Um so once you throw it into reverse, it sends power to it and then sends power to this, I'm assuming. And uh, there is a tempered glass screen protector that comes with it. So this, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so this 
protector right here comes off and then there's like a tempered glass protector that goes over it um but yeah it was 209 dollars on amazon but and they had it in stock and amazon's stupid i'll never use amazon again because of this um I had to email a bunch of people and they had to do basically overnight shipping because they had it in stock and never shipped it. And then it sat there and I called somebody. So I ordered this, today's Sunday, so I ordered this last Thursday or last Wednesday even. Um, anyway, so ordered it. It said it was in stock. It said I, re I would receive it by Tuesday of last week because it was it's all three days it should be there whatever you know i think it was thursday friday monday tuesday and then at the latest wednesday it should have been here so i called them wednesday night hey what's going on talk to this dude who wasn't even i don't whatever anyways talk to dude and he's just like i'm sorry for your inconvenience that's all i can do for you basically so then they sent me a link, an email saying, hey, how, how did we do? And I said, you guys suck, blah, blah, blah. Your company's dumb. This item's in stock. I was told I was going to get it on this day. So the next day they called me. They left me a message stating, oh, we're sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, it's not, the item's not in stock. So then I called them again, talked to some dude. He's like, the item's in stock. I don't know what they're, what they're doing blah 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 so thursday night comes around they call me again or maybe they emailed me about how they did or whatever and then i emailed them that they suck and they should all die because they suck at life but anyways so i just said whatever he said you should, he they called me they said i should get the item by monday at the latest and saturday i got it and it was like overnighted because of whatever reason but anyway so amazon sucks i hate amazon and uh yeah so that's it for this video um yeah and uh i just got one more week out here and then that's it so the truck runs the truck drives it's not leaking any oil we had to add i think with 11 quarts of tranny fluid so but these are all hopefully gonna be video stuff my kid will touch on and when when or if he'll ever start his own youtube so all i got left to do windshields happening monday gauge pod will happen monday night or tuesday morning uh wife wants to go to ikea which is downtown which is going to take a whole day i got to take the truck for an alignment which should be wednesday tuesday or wednesday um yeah and then we're gonna put the door panel back on because I can't find any door panels so maybe if my kid gets up um maybe we can get those door panels all cleaned up and painted or something just so it looks okay uh, but for the most part that's it oh yeah wheels and tires I gotta get a line uh mounted anyways guys I'm gonna get out of the truck because it's too hot in here all right guys like comment subscribe follow my kid on instagram six shift 119 and follow me on Instagram half fast 719 thanks for watching guys bye